convinced yet that Google is looking at getting things automated as much as it can and leverage automation as much as it can, not for its own benefit, but to help people like you and I. We, digital marketers or business owners who try to run ads on Google, have to understand this is an era where everything is getting transitioned into machine learning and artificial intelligence. So it is our responsibility to make sure that we feed the right data into the system so that the system can use that data to make predictions which can help us in the long run while consuming as little effort as possible. In that context, we have seen what Performance Max campaign type is uh, in Google Ads is and how Google has planned to leverage automation and show you know, your ad inventory across all platforms, across all Google platforms, while keeping an eye on the goal that it, it has to achieve for you as a business. So in that context, let's look at how do you create a Google Performance Max campaign type when you're working with Google Ads in real time. Let's log into your Google Ads account. Let's create on create a new campaign. Now this is the new campaign that I'm going to create. And then I will not choose any goal as such at this point in time. But if you have a, a preferred objective that you want to achieve, you can look at that. And then you can, let's say, remove uh, begin checkout. If I'm only looking at purchases as a conversion action that I would want to track, you can remove all the other uh, conversion actions that you have previously set up. And then you can look at continue. And here is when you can choose your performance max campaign type. Or let me cancel this. Let me create a new campaign again. You can simply create a campaign without choosing any goal here. Simply click on performance max here. You will re reach the same stage. Now, do you see how you removing your uh, goals has already put them back again? So this is not forever. For a particular campaign, if you want to remove any goals or uh, from, from the list of go conversion goals that you have, you're free, you're free to do that. From the list of available goals or conversion goals that you have, if you want to remove anything, you're free to do that. If you want to add any goals, you can also do that. Now, I have these three goals defined here. If I don't want, let's say, begin checkout, and if I don't want uh, phone call leads, I can eliminate them from this list. Not forever. If I try to create a new campaign again, those goals will still appear. So I will choose this purchases as my conversion action. That's by def conversion goal that's defined. Let's go to continue. Now let's name the campaign. Uh, let's say performance max. And you can continue. Now this may be slightly different from the typical campaign creation steps that you may see when you create typical search or display campaigns. But it's all uh, because there is a new campaign type. And this campaign type is simple just to reiterate. I know I'm repeating this too much, but I think it really helps. So you need to understand that Performance Max campaigns give you, give you the advantage to showcase all your ad inventory across all platforms or across all Google platforms while keeping an eye on the goal that you have defined for the system. Now, in this case, the goal was purchases, if you remember. And now I can leverage all my ad inventory that I have and show it across all Google platforms with a goal of increasing the number of purchases. Now that's what I'm telling the system. Now this is what I want to achieve. Now using machine learning and AI algorithms, the Google system will try and do that. Once I reach the optimum uh, combination, all I need to do is increase my budgets and let the fun begin. All right. So let's say define a budget. Let's define some budget. What do you want to focus upon? Conversions because I chose a goal to focus upon, a conversion action to focus upon. Now you can define a cost per uh, action if you want. I'm just going to leave it as it is because this is just for demonstration. Now, typically, now if you read this, typically an account's conversion history influences the estimates, but there is not much recent activity on your account. This estimate is based on other advertisers' history and provides a reference for how your campaign may perform. Now it's very important you understand this. Now, what are you doing? You're trying to tell Google system to focus on getting as many conversions as possible. Based on what? You need to give that something, right? Ideally, in, a, in, a, in an ideal environment, you need to, Google system will fall back upon the data that your campaign has. Now, this is a new account. There is no conversion activity in the past. So there is nothing that Google can look at and make predictions for me. So this is just a typical warning that Google is telling you that, hey, listen, I don't have enough data to do what you want. So keep that in mind when you create this campaign. But for season accounts, but for your client accounts, you will have data and Google can leverage on this data. So that should not be a problem. All right, so location targeting, language targeting, more settings, you will have ad schedule, start and end dates, your, your expansions and uh, uh, campaign URL options, which is tracking templates and etc. All right, now this is your asset group. 
which is the add assets now i'm just going to say all assets and let's see final url is let's say www.titansuni.com that's my website now you can add up to 15 images and there are certain image recommendations that google gives you so keep these things in mind when you're getting uh, these images designed for display network and youtube ads and discover uh, networks now you need to look at add images now if you have any you can choose that i don't have any let's say these are the add images that i have so i can upload i think approximately up to 15 images now since i don't have an ad inventory i'm just going to use it from the library now i've selected these assets and i will choose them now from the 15 images i've chosen two now it will immediately start generating a preview for me to see to show me how it shows the ads in real time not just that you can also create some upload some videos that you may have let me show that to you in a second so if you have a logo that you would want to advertise you can also look at logos let me see if i have any logo i think i should have let's say digital titans logo come on 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 of titans logo all right so this is the logo that i have pretty minimalistic logo if i may say so but i'm just going to use it for demonstration anyway so let's save that now logo is already uh, uh, logo is taken care of um now videos i think if you don't have any video now this is where it gets interesting now if you don't have any video google will generate a video based upon the images or the inventory that you have given now let's say uh this is the video i want now i'm going to save it now it will also save this as a part of the inventory and wherever possible whichever network loves showing these videos my ad uh, my video ad my video ad will be displayed to people all right now let's say what is the headline now i'm just going to say digital marketing now earlier these headlines were very easy but now it's very tricky because google is very strict on measuring the ad relevance and ad quality uh, it, if it has to give you a good quality ad strength basically so you need to look at these things and you make recommendations to your ad text accordingly uh, digital marketing updates digital marketing updates let's say become a marketing ninja ready for so i'm just going to give some variations and i will have an option to put in a long headline uh, when was the last time you struggled for an important update did you ever secretly wish you became a digital marketing ninja i'm just going to i'm just making something up let's get specific let's say google ads ninja all right take care of your spellings and then you have a description that you can add so basically i have added uh, three headlines and you can also add a long headline uh, become an indispensable resource for your marketing team do yourselves do yourself a favor stay updated i'm just making something up all right so call to action can be automated uh, depending upon the site and what is allowed and what best suits whether it's a video whether it's a text ad uh, i'm just going to leave this as it is i'm 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 going to let the system decide what call to action works better for me i'm just going to say digital titans okay select a call to action that aligns with your goals or use automated call to action which allows google to automatically choose the most relevant call to action for you now this is where it gets interesting you have a video ad you can you can say learn more you have a text ad you can simply choose learn more as a call to action for all these things but you know how people are different and people can behave differently based upon different kinds of ads that be that's being shown to them so why not let google decide so just leave it as automated and then you can if you want to add url options you can do that now this is where it gets interesting now you have defined the inventory now you have defined your uh, headlines and descriptions and how the ad is going to look but who is going to see the ad what is the, where did you target there is no targeting that we have set we have only given location target we have only given language targeting 
but is isn't there a more specific targeting that's needed that comes here so create a signal so what is a signal that you're going to give the system saying that if my audience matches this then consider this as a signal and this is my targeting now signals can be your audiences which is your custom audiences and let's say i have a keto weight loss i don't know how old this segment is so now i have an old audience that i can use this audience i can have data which is my customer uh, remarketing lists and audience lists or my customers list i can choose that or you can give in detail targeting which is your uh, topics or you can uh, which, which is your custom audiences and affinity audiences you can also browse for existing audiences or you can give some demographics right so these are a set of things that you can experiment with giving your uh, with giving some reference point to the system for a target to give the uh, to give the system some kind some sort of reference point to target who you want to target uh, while showing your ads so once you have chosen these things and then you can save and that's pretty much it right and then you just say next uh, add extensions if you have any just say next and then save it i have some errors i need to fix uh, i think one logo is required i don't have a logo or it's not appropriately uh, sized so depending on that it's not taking it so never mind so once you have the proper inventory i think that's all you need to know so this is basically how you create a, a performance max campaign uh, using google ads uh, this is just a dummy account but i have done it for one of my client accounts and i cannot share the details so what i would probably do is once that campaign runs for 2 to 3 days ideally a week but i think i'll i'll have to analyze it once uh, it it's 2 days or 3 days that i've created the campaign just to see a hang of how that works now once i do that i will be able to share specific insights as to how different or how similar the performance max campaigns are in comparison to your typical search display youtube running them independently i think that's about it from my end and i hope you enjoyed this session and i hope you will have much more fun trying to replicate the performance max campaigns seems like an interesting uh, idea saves a lot of time uh, stays sticks to the point plus it gives you the leverage to target multiple audiences across all google platforms at once while keeping an eye on your goal thank you so much my name is kc you know what to do if you like this session subscribe see you again with another interesting video my name is kc until then ciao